Okay, so I'm making this video to show this is the chart that is actually on the Crystal Beach Strand. Now it's very interesting. I want to point out some things here. This clearly is a doctored chart. Um, it's not even a very good Photoshop, okay? And they're claiming this is the town's current plan for Bay Beach. So this is on their website now, August 25th. All right, and I'd like to show out here, show you here. This is the boardwalk. This is what they're claiming right here is the only access the public has to the beach. And I want you to point out how exaggerated the toad areas are. Okay, here and here, all these darkened areas are the Fowler's toad area. And it says close to public. They, they actually went uh, as far as to post that that is closed to the public. Okay, so if you, I want you to, a couple things I want you to notice here. Okay, how big their promenade is, all right. And they show no access here at all in the corner. And what you're going to see down here, they have this actually, you know, uh, sectioned off as toad area. So, uh, again, this is the false information, the lies that are being spread by the anti-condo people. And this here, uh, again, just shows, you know, what... Uh, you know what they're up to so they're not even showing you that there's a um, uh, handicap access ramps here uh, and access here and that you have public access to not only the restaurants inside this will all be public but this whole area here and you're gonna see it from my other video all of this is open to the public this would have been open to the public had they not made a big deal about the Fowler's Toad but what they did was they drew attention to the Fowler's Toad. The ministry came down, not the developer, not the town of Fort Erie. The ministry came down and said, oh, no, no, these toads are endangered. So you guys now you have to designate this area to them. So way to go. This is this falls on the four counselors, the FEWPA and uh, the rest of the anti-condo group. Your efforts to protect public land cost public land. And here's the proof right here. Okay, so what you're seeing now, this is my laptop, and I'm actually on uh, the Crystal Beach Strand, okay? So yeah, I'll give them some free advertising here, because uh, really I don't care. It's a joke. I hope people go and see this, uh, how much of a joke this website is. So right, right here, boldly, she puts, what the mayor and town staff do not want you to see at the Hope Open House on Wednesday. So again, here's their chart, okay? And it says more and a closer look, click here. Oh, it doesn't even say click here. We're just supposed to assume that it means click here. So I'm going to click here just so nobody thinks I'm messing around. And here we go. What the mayor and town staff do not want you to know. So uh, it took a freedom of information request. Like they're implying that the town is lying to them about this uh, to get the specs for the treatment of the Fowler's Toad. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I don't know if you can read this if you go to their site, all right? And now look at the simplified version of the diagram. That's what it says right here. Now look at the simplified version. Um, try your version, not the simplified version of your all-out lies. All right, so you go on, you read the rest of this nonsense. I'm not even gonna read it. Yeah, the toads have lived in harmony, you know, blah, 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 blah. The plan to give the nodes, a, oh, I like this, look at, the big F-U. What does she mean by F-U? What, I, I don't know what that means. Anyway, somebody get back to me and let me know what a big F-U is. A big F-U to the people and the perfect way to keep people from enjoying the public beach. Lots of fenced off areas and a narrow laneway replete with gate to the smaller public beach. Those brave enough to venture to the beach by this route have to walk between two fenced in areas marked private and do not enter. Good luck with that. So this is what the anti-condo people are posting and blogging about and obviously lying about. And uh, what I'm gonna do is show you a video. I actually went to the info session to educate myself and not rely on the BS being spread by uh, Sharon Bowers and her blog and the FEWPA and their anti, you know, this anti-condo group. And you're, you're about to see it firsthand, the difference, and get an explanation from uh, the planners experts who made themselves available to the public, uh, put on a pretty good show, 
and uh, they want you to believe they're lying to you. If they're lying, <laughs> why why put on a show? Just don't talk to anyone. If you don't want us to know what's there, don't tell it. Like don't don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. No one can stop you anyway. But did they do that? No. What they did was they came out and said, we're going to show you. We're going to be completely honest with you and up front. Um, <laughs> and if they're not honest, well, that's pretty bold to lie to our faces. They're all public area. Right. Would you want to take us some shots of the visualization? But they're all going to be on our blog. Okay. You know we're having a blog. Right. Eh? Rick will talk about that at 8 o'clock when he has, goes into the presentation. So let me, let me just ask you a question here. So this part here, okay. Yeah. This is all public. That's right. And you can access the beach from here, is that correct? Yeah, there's different ways. One, um, like where the development comes up the Erie Road up right. here, you can't see it on this plan. Right, okay. But there's stairs that come up from this little entry area where right. you can drive your vehicle in. Okay. Stairs onto the podium here. You can come off here onto the podium, uh, onto the boardwalk, okay. onto the podium here, right? Right, okay. Okay. So you can enter the podium over here and from here, okay? You can come down the boardwalk onto the beach, beach here, okay. okay? You can come across the promenade through here. You can also come off the podium down the stairs and over here. So okay? this is all public and there's here. there's accessibility ramps right here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And this here you just said to me, this is not uh, open to the public now as it is, correct? Well, it's, it's not utilized by the public. It's, it's a berm and fill area. Okay. So, and I mean, right now they've got, we actually, it's all fenced off roughly in this area, right. correct? That's right. Yeah, okay. And why we roped off some area here and here, this area roped off here is all within the existing dance hall foundation anyway. Right. Which isn't highly utilized in any event. Right. Yep. And this area in the corner isn't highly utilized. These are all the blocks of concrete right now, correct? That's so that no. This is where the, the the you can't see the foundation on this plan. It right. comes like generally like around here. Okay? okay. So the washrooms are within that area, and so is a lot of the shore protection here and the toad area here. So it's roughly the, what's there now is coming down to this this point anyway. Yeah, that's right. It's already like there's already yeah. there's already concrete there. Yeah. It, so. So you're not losing any access here? We're not losing, the, the public doesn't utilize that area. sand, right. but it's right. within the foundation area. Right, right. Where those wa rocks yeah, like are it's not, and, it's not and where they yeah, area. where they come and spray paint yes. the wall, right? The right. graffiti there. Okay. This is actually newly created public beach here. Because the shore wall comes back right. and there's slopes. We okay. created like a toad escalator for the toads to get up here. Oh, okay. Okay. This, this is where the existing shore wall is along here. Right. So that's new public beach there, about 100 square meters. Okay. So they're actually gaining a little bit of public beach that's there. Right. That's very interesting. Okay. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it.